Hi everyone and welcome to today's episode of Daily School News. Videos are making their rounds over on the good old interweb of Siberian poachers taken at Kaluga, yeah. that's what I would call it, from the o Amur. Amur region in Russia's Far East. So the Kaluga is a huge predatory sturgeon and is claimed to be the largest freshwater fish in the world, with a max size of around about 5.6 meters to a total weight of a thousand k's, kilograms. Yeah. The that's, big boy. That's a hefty fish. That is a hefty fish. So their lifespan is about the same as a human, actually, and due to overfishing, the Kaluga is actually marked as critically endangered right now. So that means that fishing for this beastie of a fish is strictly prohibited. I knew that. No, no, no. So the only time one of these big boys or girls can be fished is for breeding purposes. Uh, officials are now, of course, looking into the video to try and find the fishermen uh, that were responsible and are responsible. Um, what's also worrying is that the fish that was caught was female and was about to spawn as well, hence why it was such an easy catch. You missed a very, a very vital part of the script there. It said if. Oh, if. Yeah, if. They're uh, very worried that if. If it was a female fish, uh, that could have literally jeopardized an entire... Oh, uh, I was on, on the understanding that it was, so these are really, really bad. It said if in the script. Uh, and I can't read. I'm dyslexic. <laughs> anyway, the truth is, is that if it was a female, they could have seriously damaged the breeding of the fish species. And that kind of sucks. Mm. Uh, so these fish live up to around about 60 years. That's pretty old. Mm. Actually, it's not that old. I'm nearly 60, so it's well young. It's actually well young. Anyway, they only start spawning when they're aged 14 years old. So, you know, the more they get killed, it doesn't, or the younger they get killed, or the older, basically, when they. Getting killed sucks. Yeah, yeah. You know, and the fact that they don't spawn straight away, they have to wait 14 years for anything to happen or for them to develop. It's just, you know, it's just crap, basically. Mm. And their survival is very limited. Yeah. Yeah, in like Eastern Russia. Yep. <clears throat> now, these fish don't always get caught. Uh, it's well known for Kaluga to actually topple boats, uh, actually drowning fishermen. Um, but if you put on your tinfoil hats right now, because some people actually believe that these fish actively, actively hunt and kill people because they've got it out for humans, um, they are now the top predator. Um, if they had legs, we'd all be dead. Uh, Even though there's about 10 of them left in the world. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, a, like a six foot long, thousand kilo fish knocking you in freezing cold water, you don't <laughs> stand much of a chance. <coughs> um, unfortunately, that's pretty much it for the story. There's a video, bad people doing bad things. They're looking for it. Um, but there's a lot of people in Russia. Go find them. Go find them. Uh, anyway, if there is any updates, then we'll of course link it down in the comments below. Um, if you've got any information, then yeah, put it in the comments below. Yeah. We'll forward it to the uh, appropriate authorities. And also, anonymously. You're a, a narc. You Snip. know what sn yeah, snitches, snitches get, get stitches. stitches. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so do you think that they'll actually catch these fishermen responsible catching, uh, for catching this big fish? I don't know. What is words with you today? Words, it's, words, words. It's so. rough. Uh, anyway, if so, sh what should they do with them? Um, I don't know. Put them on a fishing rod. Yeah, <laughs> feed put, them. Put them back in the water. Yeah, give them to a sturgeon. Yeah. Anyway, let's have a chat about it in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash all the buttons below. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and of course, safe diving. It's that time of year again. That's right, the Diver Awards are back, people. Now, this year is a little different for us. We're, of course, up for Dive Retailer of the Year. So if you love our website, think our customer service team is plain awesome, and, of course, enjoy our advice and review videos, we would love to have your vote. And, as well, thanks to our Mark One Dive Torch, we are now in the Product of the Year category. So if you have purchased the Mark One Dive Torch, or if you've just fallen in love with it, then please feel free to vote for that as well. To cast your vote, just click on the link in the comments. Thank you. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.